He finally did it. Yes. Guys, we manifested this. He did it. He actually did it. Game Theory did a Lily's Garden Game Theory. Woo! Yeah, baby. And, and also, and look how many people sent it to me. Look at this. Bam, bam, bam. Man, we could go on. This has been like this all day. There's a lot of mentions here. It just keeps, it just keeps going. I don't think my Twitter's ever blown up like this. And apparently I'm mentioned in this video. Uh, so I, I feel like I, I have, I'm obligated to react to it, but I feel bad because I just reacted. <laughs> we just reacted to the, the other grow up food theory. I'm convinced at this point that Matt Pat probably hates my guts. I don't want that. Listen, I'm, I admit this is lazy. It's lazy content. I'm not trying to steal views. Go subscribe to Game Theory. Go subscribe to all of his channels. In case you guys don't know, I left a comment two months ago. I said Lily's Garden Theory win. I don't know. I'm not saying I'm taking credit for this. But I'm just saying. You're welcome. What we gotta think here is how far is he gonna go in the rabbit hole, okay? Or should I say the washing machine? I feel like we should have a bingo thing. Washing machine, eggplant, Lily's mom. And another eggplant. If you guys have missed my uh, reactions to Lily's Garden, you might want to check them out. Because we we, we reacted to all, pretty much all the, the main uh, storyline ads, not... Not so much the fillers. We pretty much got the whole story. I'll link the playlist uh, to all my reactions, but most notably, there's a new game in the Lily Gardens universe. I hope he covers that because I really want his take on this. We, I want to know because obviously he saw something at Grub Up that we didn't see. So I want to. I, I'm very interested to see what he thinks about Lily's Gardens. Matthew, what are you doing? It's late. <sighs> I know, it's just after a long day of theorizing, I needed to unwind with a mindless mobile game. I could just picture him actually staying up at night playing Lily's Garden. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's the one thing I have not done, is actually play the game. I know, because I, I don't play it because I know I'll be disappointed. It's not gonna be the same. I could be wrong, I never played it though. Are you playing Lily's Garden? Isn't that that game that's like random tile matching with those crazy ads? What do you mean, crazy ads? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they got a divorce. Are they married? I'm assuming they're married. <laughs> they got a divorce after this. Hello, Internet. Welcome to, to Game Theory. Theory. I'm so excited to see to this. This needed to happen. Lore. And I know what you're all thinking. Why? Why on earth am Why? I choosing to talk Why? about the Why? random tile matching mobile game Lily's Garden? The new Ratchet and Clank just released. There's a new Horizon game on the... Horizon. We've even got two new Pokemon games that have plenty to theorize. Dude, it's about freaking time he is talking about what is actually important. The real stuff, the real juicy details of Lily's Garden. The only game that really matters in our generation arguably is Lily's Garden. You guys know that I can't resist that sweet, juicy, hidden lore, so I started looking into it, but then I got busy with other projects and it just kind of fell to the bottom of the pile. That wasn't oh, until so he was gonna Mike do called us out Woo! in his video reacting to our Grubhub episode. And would you look at that? We've suddenly come full circle. Yeah. The fires of theory were burning again and I got to work. Uh, no one knows how to pronounce my name and I totally understand. I just, I want to change my name so bad, but yet I don't. Ah, uh, looks like I hit the big times once again. Oh god. Yeah, it's about that time I go cash the checks. I've got bags of money now. I can't see my screen actually. <laughs> to be honest, I, I wasn't even sure if he saw my video or not, but it's nice to know that he did. And I'm, I'm glad that you're not angry at me for reacting to your videos. I never know if people are cool with it or not, you know. I, I keep in mind, a lot of times I do ask for permission, but I'll admit I don't always do it. <laughs> But I would like to reiterate, I'm not trying to steal anyone's views. He gets more views in an hour than I get in a week, okay? But we out here grinding, okay? I try to add as much as I can. He actually puts work in his content. So here we are. Don't say I don't do anything for you. As I yeah. said earlier, <laughs> Lily's Garden is a surprise. I appreciate, I, can I just say, I really appreciate this, by the way. Like, I think it's really cool. I may not have agreed with everything uh, on the Grubhub theory, but you basically proved me wrong, and I admit defeat. All right, I'm a big fan. I've always been a big fan of the game theorists. I loved your DDLC theories and everything like that. Just a bit, a bit a big fan, honestly. Really, really good content. This is pretty cool. I ain't gonna lie. Something bothered me. It's the same thing that was bothering most of you, which was why you kept asking me to make a theory on this thing. There Are you guys no like? I didn't know you guys like sent him my video. The official YouTube channel, Lily's Garden Confusing Universe, tells you that just with the name okay. alone. But in their description, all right, they I think he's actually gonna get into it. Are coming out into the quote, new game, not in any particular. order. 
order. Even in the description of the video, how could he? They say, quote, we'd like to take this opportunity to remind you that you have no idea when this took place. As one of the oh, channel's what? most recent videos, this implies, to me at least, that no one has yet figured out the order of events correctly. Whoa, give me a second. I actually didn't do that. I mean, I've watched their ads, but I haven't like actually read the description like that. Arguably, like most people, a lot of people don't read the description. I actually do read descriptions of videos, but I haven't read their description to be to be completely fair. That being said, go check out Matt Pat in the description. Today, dear theorists, we are gonna solve the mystery of Lily's Garden confusing universe and make it once and for all the Lily's Garden solved timeline. As the name implies, oh, the story is- Oh, he said he gonna solve the timeline. Dude, I don't think anyone can do this. Maybe I, but again, I'm probably wrong. I thought Tygosaurus was doing pretty good, but maybe he'll do better. In the video, all of that in one day, we're introduced to our titular character, right, Lily, and into the it. life that she leads. To put it simply, it's a bit of a mess. She's very sad. A Makes you cry every time I watch this. By the mirror falling off the wall, it's very dirty, ripped wallpaper, and in a later video, we see she hasn't even gotten a table for her TV. It just sits on a moving box. It's very sad. She recently moved, but why? To start afresh? To be closer to her mom, or simply to find the go. one thing that drama relies on? Love. It's never really made clear by the videos. What is made clear is that Lily doesn't have much luck in the love category, even no, with the sorry. help of her mother, Holly. Lily tries to make the best of her situation, taking yoga classes and practicing self-care. Enter Blaine Van Dyke, or at least <laughs> enter his booty. Uh, I thought you didn't want to get demonetized, man. You showed his that cake. Blaine and Lily hit it off and have some adult time together, mm -hmm. which if Lily's expression is anything to go by, was disappointing. But it's fine because by accident, when her laundry <laughs> machine was yeah. she discovers a beneficial <laughs> side effect. I'm doing the best I can with all of this here, YouTube. Just work with me. However, Lily's- Nah, uh, YouTube, they, they love Lily too. They got, they, they crush it on Lily. I know they are. Turns into an unwanted pregnancy, leading Lily to go to the doctor to terminate it. Notice her feet up in the stirrups, followed by the purchase of a bottle of wine. Whoa. The pregnancy no no right after. Despite this devastating event, Lily still tries for an actual relationship with Blaine. If you haven't guessed by literally everything about him, he's kind of the yeah, worst. We found out last time we reacted to the ads that he actually, I think he got in an accident and actually got like, uh, I don't know what he call amnesia. And he actually turned into a good guy for a little bit. I think this is actually what, what he's about to touch on. He's a cheapskate, and as we're about to discover, he's also a cheater. Despite all oh, he of that, a big old at cheater. some point, they get engaged. Lily is ecstatic about her new engagement, only to discover lipstick on Ooh. Blaine's collar. And eventually catches Blaine in the act with none other than her, her mom. mom. <laughs> 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 this whole time, Blaine is- Uh, that, that was- that was pretty freaking funny, actually. I know, man. Her mom is so trashy. It is- it is so bad. It is so bad through the whole entire thing. I ain't gonna lie, though. Her mom is- There! It all started when Blaine came over one day to discover Holly doing jump rope exercises. Oh, I'll never forget to this moment. To her, um, mm. assets. I never thought that that was, like, when it started. I- I guess I never really questioned, like, exactly when it started, but this is, uh- this is interesting. Yeah, it's funny. All the late ads are really showing the earlier stages of the story, I, I suppose. I guess that does uh, make a little more sense. We can also tell it was Holly's lipstick on Blaine's collar, as in the video Too Close for Comfort, we see him sneaking around trying to not get caught by Lily, and Blaine's face is covered in the same red lipstick. I cheated, but I am also jealous. Finding your fiancé cheating with your mom would end your relationship, right? Right? No, apparently that wouldn't lead to an interesting enough story. With their wedding on the line, Lily takes Blaine back. They try to settle. I know, I can't believe her. Life. I've always said she deserves better. Lily deserves better. But luckily enough, we already know how the story goes, so she does get better. I, I mean, you guys are really just playing catch up here. Yeah, so we know she gets with uh, with Luke. She finally uh, gets her main squeeze, uh, Luke, and ditches Blaine because obviously he's a floozy. We don't need a floozy. Although I really think Lily uh, is might be one too, but okay. The girls have some fun, get into some trouble, and uh, bond <laughs> over common interests. <laughs> These ads. But here we it's are so bad. New Year's, and as the new year comes around, Lily is left with no one to kiss. We know this goes here as Regina is currently with the guy from the video Regina to the Rescue. Blaine is still hooking up with Holly, and Luke is still with his wife Rachel, but not for much longer. Which means it's 
it's time to talk about Luke, Lily's neighbor. Sometime after New Year's, Luke has hired a private investigator to spy on his wife, and as he regretfully suspected, she's been cheating on him. And with his own neighbor, Blaine, of course. I mean, come on, this guy's the village bicycle, and that blonde wig Ooh. was not fooling anyone, Rachel. Luke shares this news with Lily, and the two go to a bar to drink their sorrows away. The two hit it off and go back to Lily's place, but wait, there's a knock at the door. Blaine has returned, and despite his cheating, still thinks that he lives there. When Lily invites Luke into the bedroom, Blaine has snuck in through the window and is waiting on the bed trying to win back the battle for Lily, to which the three all look at each other and decide to continue on as <laughs> planned with the evening's activities. I can't, I, I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> Luke and Blaine continue to fight for Lily's affection, but their rivalry seems to lead less to fighting and more toward a blooming bromance, leading them to go on a camping trip. Oh yeah, that's right. So subtle implication. <laughs> Unbeknownst to them, Lily sees the whole thing and kicks them out. They, they parody Brokeback Mountain and Ghosts. What the heck? She deletes their pictures and it looks like she finally might be deciding that she is enough for herself. She decided that all she wants is washing machines, okay? You know what she should be doing? She should ditch the garden game. She needs to get into the appliance game where there's plenty of washing machines. I think she would really thrive at that job. I just don't think anyone would want to buy her appliances, but you know, she would still enjoy the job. Plot here where Blaine proposes to Regina to get back at Lily, but Whitney is in love with Regina and they eventually get together and have well, a baby. Well, the story is really insane. Directly impact Lily's story. I hope he addresses the fact that Luke had a past relationship with the new girl in the new game because that definitely did happen. Uh, but again, I don't know how long ago he made this video, so are we gonna get here? There's gotta be the something we don't know, right? Cute and their cute moments lean toward romance. They definitely have disagreements, but life is about to change in Yeah, they have a baby. Oh. Lily lets Luke know that she's got a bun in the oven. Contrasting Blaine, Luke is excited to be a dad. That ad had me so scared. I thought Luke was leaving and then he came back and I was so happy. You gotta explain Explain the baby. Please explain the baby. There's a big mystery with the baby too. Those new ads are really, they really changed the game. Cause there's always a twist in Lily's garden. While Lily is having an ultrasound, she makes a phone call. But the phone is left unanswered next to glasses of wine and some underwear. Luke, yeah. how could you? Yeah, I know. They want us to think, but hold on to your shorts because this is okay. gonna be wild. As Lily makes the final preparations to give birth, she calls the phone one last time. Luke, who's actually on his way to the hospital to see his her, moped. is tragically hit by a bus yeah. while riding on his moped and subsequently dies or so they would want us to believe yet no it's not luke i mean i'm gonna try to spoil the video but i know the story right it's not luke it was blaine and that's how he got amnesia again turns out luke is alive and the man on the other end of the phone this whole time was not luke but blaine i told you this thing was crazy but this out of nowhere curveball actually makes a lot of sense blaine was on his way to the hospital because luke you are not the father you are not the father <laughs> Lily Ooh. knows this, and so called Blaine on a few Wait a minute. <laughs> to update him, but he was busy womanizing. He does head to the hospital, but is less than tragically hit by a bus after ruining the lives of countless women. Wait a minute, is that really not- Wait a minute, I didn't know that. Is that really not his- I never caught that. Is that really not his daughter? I- I forgot- I need to go watch my own reaction, give me a second. <laughs> yeah, you know what, I was confused on that part, now that I think about it. Yeah, I gotta admit, that that's something I never really thought of, that he could be the the, the dad. Uh, I wouldn't put it past her at all, to be honest, at this point. But I guess that does kind of explain things, what was going on here. I'm pretty sure this belongs to uh, Lily's mom. But yeah, just like, I don't think Luke would do this, right? Blaine was on his way. Long-term viewers of this channel are gonna be familiar with the idea of Punnett squares and how they can help us determine to some degree what features a child's gonna have. We see that oh. Lily's baby is fair-skinned with green eyes and strawberry blonde hair. Lily has fair skin, brown eyes, and red hair. But Luke has dark skin, dark eyes, and dark hair. All of these are considered dominant genes. I always, I always just assumed that Lily's I, isn't it true? I don't know everything about this, but it, don't um redheaded people like uh, they have they have dominant genes, don't they? So I feel like I feel like that's why he you know I feel like that's why their baby turned out like that. But, but, now that I think about it, yeah, the baby's not very dark, is it? Like, at all? Which means that their baby would more likely <laughs> look like Luke than Lily. On the other hand, if Blaine were indeed the baby daddy, you'd expect a baby with light hair, fair skin, and maybe blue or green eyes. Kinda like this one. Obviously, this what? kid is gonna grow up with some- Give me a second. Here's my research here. <laughs> Google. It is a dominant trait. The DNA for blonde or red hair is not as strong as brown. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, so red again blonde gets strawberry blonde here. It checks out. What we know about Holly so far is that she's kind of a narcissist and definitely a cougar. Flirts with Lou. Oh, right yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, she is. She's causing some good old fashioned shenanigans during family Christmases, where we also meet Luke and Rachel's daughter, Karen. When we catch up with the story, though, Holly's time is cut short. She's hit by a bus and taken to a. That was the saddest time of my life. Oh. During the night, her life support is turned off by a mysterious figure. Who could this be? Who would do such a thing? Oh, that, nope. that was some brown skin. Yeah. It turns out doesn't matter and has no implications on the story at all. It's and Luke. That's because of an ad that's been removed from YouTube called Motor. Motor. It's like a brand safe way of titling it murder, I think. In this mystery oh. ad, it turns out I that didn't, Was that really removed? Holly I remember seeing that though. Own death, which Lily actually catches a glimpse of at the funeral, seeing her finger move. We know that this is Holly's finger because she's the only character we see wear a ring. And while I initially thought that the R on the ring must stand for Rachel or Regina, it actually stands for La Rosa, Holly's last name. Why Holly faked her own death is unclear, but according La to the Rosa? wiki, she then lives out her days in a retirement home far away from all her family. Lily does eventually find her and confront her, and time has definitely passed due to Lily added wrinkles and gray yeah, hairs, yeah. but by this point, okay, I, I remember she's seeing passed that. on. For real this time, she's passed on. Lily reminisces about her mom, the stories she told of her and her sister Mary, what Lily was like as a <laughs> child, and how Holly was devastated by Great Aunt Mary's passing, trying to fill the hole left behind in her life with men. Lily takes her mother's ashes and, after a little accident, buries them in the yard. Then she's haunted by her Great Aunt Mary for not looking after Holly well enough and dragged into the underworld, the end. And there you have it, a complete timeline of events. I may have skipped over some minor details here and there, but I believe this is the true retelling of this story. No, it's wrong. Hey, I just thought I'd come in here and interrupt my own reaction because this is actually after I reacted to that video. I wanted to say first that I think his uh, theory is really, really good, but there's just some things that don't sit right with me. And I assume that he's probably not a completely sure of his theory, uh, either, but I just wanted to point out some really big inconsistencies that I just, that I noticed after, uh, I reacted to this. So notably right here, this is where it doesn't really start to really make a lot of sense. In his theory, he talks about how there's someone in the hospital, right? As presumably after the motorcycle accident, she goes in to visit this person. And then we find shortly after, it's not Luke, but it's actually none other than Blaine. We know it's the same hospital room because it shows green stripes on the wall. See, right here, green stripes. Notice that it's the same green stripes here. So obviously that is Blaine. But notice Blaine's appearance. That's what does it sit right with me. I thought, why? Why does his look change? I assumed at this point, maybe he had amnesia and woke up as a good guy. But I actually think this is the opposite, and this is where I think there's a big discrepancy. Notice this is the only time you really see Luke in this appearance. It's followed by this next ad. He seems like a good guy. Like, do you, does this look like the type of person that would be a freaking cheating scoundrel all the time? He looks almost like a completely different person. But let's do a little bit of a YouTube rewind here. All the way back to the movie theater. Look. Notice, he's exactly the same, and this is the only other spot that I can- that I've at least found where he's actually dressed up just like this. This is a really old ad. Very old ad, like from the beginning days. Something, okay, that popcorn looks really sus. I just want to say that. Notice that Luke is still with his uh, girl here. Uh, I don't know if they were married. I believe they may have been married, but that is his ex. And that is when they started developing uh, feelings for each other. Clearly, Luke, uh, <laughs> who you would have assumed at that point is a good guy, and I always thought was a good guy, it's just as bad as freaking Blaine. I actually think that Blaine right here is a good guy. I think that he was a good guy before his accident, and he wasn't always a floozy. I just want to say, who doesn't wear shoes to a movie theater? That is disgusting. But it doesn't mean he's not a good guy. What I really think happened is when after Blaine got into his accident, which was not in the correct order that the game theory showed, and me too, I mean, even I was fooled. Obviously, this accident changed him. He woke up, and that's when he became a bad boy. He changed. And I mean, we know brain injuries can really change someone. Perhaps that's what happened, and that's when he started cheating on Lily with the mom. I mean, really, everything in the story just went back crazy. Everyone started cheating on everyone. And also, to me, clearly, this is the part where I think Lily first figured out that they cheated. We know what happens, but it says right here, Thank you, mom, 
for being the best. Clearly, that's about to change. Right here, it says, thank you, mom, for being the worst. This is obviously during Christmas. They're trying to better their lives. And clearly, Lily's mom is clearly not uh, <laughs> interested in their happiness. Rather, she just sees the grass is always greener on the other side, which she just wants any man that Lily has. Now, I am going somewhere with this. I think this uh, ties really well in to my theory that Lily actually tried to have her mom assassinated. In MatPat's video, he said that uh, Lily's mom faked her death. I think that's partly true. I think what actually happened was Lily had her own mother murdered because she was sick of all the games. All right, we're jumping to the ad where Lily's mom is in the hospital. And look, clearly, <laughs> clearly she gets murdered, right? That's what they're- that's what that is implying. I think MatPat said that that- that was kind of like maybe this like really didn't matter. I disagree. And this ad also proves it. I would also like to point out that I believe that this is the owner of the washing machine place. Uh, as you can see, uh, Lily's mob was also a great customer. He's very sad about this. I'm not exactly sure who this- these people are, but they kind of seem like they're like private investigators or something. I don't really understand. She's really sad and this is clearly her mom. She goes up to her thinking that she's fully dead only to find that <laughs> obviously the person that she's uh, hired didn't do the best of jobs. Lily feels guilty about this, obviously, and she quickly shuts the casket. She wants to hide the fact that she tried to get her mom murdered. Also, I would like to point out conveniently that Blaine, who really is in the center of all this and really has like ruined everyone's lives and constantly, he's always been with Lily's mom, but I just, I just thought it was kind of funny that Blaine is actually not in at her funeral, which is very, very messed up. This is Regina, right? Yeah, so Regina tries to go up to pay her respect and she quickly turns her away. Isn't that clearly uh, a guilty conscience? She's trying to hide the fact that she had her mom murdered and she wants she wants them to just bury her alive basically. If you want more proof that that ad is actually part of the story, when she goes to the therapist here, she has flashbacks about this whole situation. See? And he feels very sorry for her, obviously. Now, this is the part that gets a little fuzzy. Later on, we've seen in the theory, and you may have seen the ad already, but Lily goes uh, to visit her mom at a retirement home or something like that. I think that Lily somehow caught air uh, that her mom actually survived and was still alive. And I think that she even felt bad. The reason why I think she feels bad is because she blamed her mom, right, for being like an awful person. But look at this flashback right here. This is why I think Lily has sympathy for her mom. Because her mom seems to be a okay person, but then <laughs> she is obviously broken. She's a single mom, it seems, and she doesn't really know how to take care of Lily. It's very obvious that Lily follows in the same exact footsteps as her mom. Look how annoyed she is. They can't get any sleep. And I believe that's when Lily started to sympathize with her own mom and maybe even feel a little bad for her. This part, <laughs> room 69, I just thought that was really funny. This is the part that really doesn't make a lot of sense, but as Lily's older, she goes to visit her mom and finds out that she's actually dead. And this ring actually does match up with the ring that she does wear. She has like this big old diamond with this wristband. It's the same exact cycle. And that's when her aunt, her sister dies. And, you know, I think that's obviously when she, she broke, uh, the mom at least. She even visits her here, so you know, it's really sad. So I just wanted to point that out. I, I basically think Lily had her mom killed and uh, she felt really guilty about it. So uh, Lily is not innocent at all. Pretty much no one in this story is actually innocent. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to point those things out to kind of clarify some things. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think there's so much more to, that's going on. Like at one point the baby gets uh, haunted and I believe it may have been by the La Rosa, uh, maybe maybe Lily's, grand, Lily's mom's grandma or Lily's grandma possibly. Uh, th those are some theories I don't really have a lot of proof on. I just thought that didn't make any sense. And I wanted to point that out. Ads aren't real. Dun, dun, dun. See, I can be dramatic too. And I don't mean they're not real as in it's a fictional world because duh, if that was the logic, no. then there would be no such thing as game theory. What I mean is that these ads are staged. They're scripted. They're filmed like a TV show. No, I refuse to believe it. Lily's garden ads are real. Just as real as Santa Claus. Channel describes itself as a telenovela, but the real clues come hidden inside video descriptions. In the video, he's probably coming back right. The description 
description says, quote, Blaine actually did ride off. He left Lily and the whole film crew waiting. The end shot of Lily waiting in the dark was not in the original script. A script, you say? A crew? That doesn't seem very real to me. Other videos have references to one Holy take, crap. staying in character, golden glow. Give me a second. How come I've never read the descriptions? It's really unfortunate he didn't touch on any of the new newer ads because like, it, it really does connect. Uh, if you look here, well, I don't know if he talks about it, but look, Luke and freaking whatever her name, yeah. Oh, Penny, yes, of course. Clearly have a connection before Lily and they're even, look, they're even in the same ad. What? what does it mean? Globe nominations, furthering the idea that all of them are actors. Also, the descriptions list the characters' names like cast credits. Oh my god, how come I've never- I've- Okay, I have seen that where they're like starring Lily! It's like Courage the Cowardly Dog, but- <laughs> A lot less cursed. Actually, no, that show's pretty cursed. So are you saying it's kind of like The Office? Is it kind of like The Office as if like they're kind of filming a show in a way? And it's like breaking the fourth wall. Oh, you he actually mentions it. What the heck? I had no idea. Where some characters actually share the same names as their IRL counterparts. That is where Lily exists in the show of Lily's Garden. Or on Instagram, where Lily's Garden parodies another not scripted reality show, The Real Housewives. Finally, Holly is often wow, referred I didn't to know as that. a guest star. And on some occasions, superstar, implying that she's famous from before or outside of the show. Are you saying are you trying to are you actually trying to tell me right now? Now, that Lily's Gardens is basically the Kardashians. They're the Kardashians. The Gardens. And look it, we're all watching it. We're keeping up with the Gardens. That was a pretty shocking thing. I, no one read the description. <laughs> Man, oh, I failed. I failed. Uh, that's that's actually a pretty shocking uh, twist. Wow. To support this idea, in February of 2021, new ads got released for Tactile Games' <clears throat> new mobile game, Penny and Flo, with Penny being the main character. She owns a diner, she's engaged, she had a relationship with Luke at some point. That's yeah, insane how she cheats on her similar. with Regina, she gets pregnant, and it looks like she'll okay. go on to have a relationship with Regina's brother, too. So this drama and craziness ain't going what anywhere. What about Luke? What about I'll the connection with Luke? For another day, but you get the idea here. We're at the tip of of the iceberg friends. I thought he was just gonna do the timeline, but to drop a bombshell like that, that this is all a game and we're all just living in Lily's world, pretty, pretty insane. Uh, I, I, yeah, I am impressed. I need to do more snooping. Read the descriptions. I think that's the lesson. Read the descriptions. As always, guys, check out the Game Theorists. They have so many great videos. They did a, I, they did a Friday Night Funkin' one, which I, I, I actually haven't seen it. I just like, I just clicked it. There's a reason why they're so successful. They're really great videos. So go check them out. I really look forward to an updated Doki Doki one, uh, in the future. That would be really, really cool. And yeah, until the next episode of Reacting to Lily's Gardens. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all the theories because don't worry. We're gonna we're gonna jump into it because I I want to see how they're related I, I want to know why Lily is also dead. I'm surprised he didn't uh, touch on her like uh, being like actually murdered Maybe in the future. We'll see a part two. That would be exciting. That's about it my scrubs. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye